Hello. I think we're live. We're live. Okay, how do I switch the screen? This is my first one, everyone. Double tap. Ryan Rochford joined. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Tara from Treble in the Kitchen. Trisha's over here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay, so today we are at the Ballet Physique. There's the logo. We're spending our lunch hour at the bar, and Trisha, she's the bar expert. She's going to show us how to do some moves with perfect technique, because technique is super important. Um, so, oh my gosh, so many of you are joining. Hi, Rob Wood and Vazista. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, where's everyone watching from today? Oh, we'll wait on that. We'll wait. <laughs> if, you're, if you're new, can you type just type new so we know who the newbies are. And if you are a pro or you've done this before, put in your favorite emoji. I'm brand new to this, yeah, so yeah. I would type new. <laughs> anyway, well, you don't have to. We've got time. We've got time. So um, we're gonna actually. Do we have anything else to say for our intro? Oh, if you wanna, if you like this, you should hard like you tap, tap on the, the screen. screen. Tap, tap, tap. And that gives us hearts and lots of love. And then if you want to share it, you pull on an iPhone, you scroll up. No, or, iPhone so, to the right. Oh, sorry. Never done this. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> thanks the for hearts. the hearts. <laughs> yeah. You can also share. Yeah. yeah. To share on the iPhone, swipe to the right and Android swipe up. Don't know, just arrived. Hi from Spain. Hi, Spain. Hi. Hi. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you so much for the love, everyone. Okay. Well, so, let's get this yeah. bar session started. Yeah. I'm, I'm Tara. Tara. I'm Tara. I'm Trisha. Tara and Trisha. Yep. Yeah. I blog at Treble in the Kitchen. And I'm from fitlowdenver.com. And I blog as well. So we're like bloggers uniting. Woo! And we're in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Woo! To give you some, um, hi, T. Hi, T. Oh, yes. I love it. Love it. That's <laughs> T squared, and we're gonna we're we're gonna do a bar breakdown. Um, definitely, bloggers revolution. Love yes. It. Um, we uh we're gonna we're going through the some. Hi, Chicago. Is that Chicago? Chicago. Yeah, I'm from Indianapolis. Oh, yes. Midwest. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna do some demo and um. You know, we're gonna want questions. So yeah. afterwards, ask questions. We'll go through the demo first, and then ask us your questions afterwards. Okay. Hi, friends. Hello, everyone. Oh, awesome. So good to see so many people. Nutrition to fit. Awesome. Yay! Yay! All right. Well, let's should let's I get this do started? this. Let's get this party let's started. Let's get it started. Okay. We're gonna hand the camera over and um, get it going. All right. So double tap. Yeah, just double. Our, our camera holder, this is her first time doing Periscope as well, so... Welcome yeah. to the bar studio! To the All right, so this is the Ballet Physics beautiful bar studio. We're going to start with a move that I love because it works your hamstrings and lifts your tush. Love um, lifting the tush. I know, who does not want to lift the tush? So, um, flat back, pull belly up and in and bring your forearms to the bar. So it's important that you engage your abdominal, pull belly up and in, lift up to the chest, Feel broad through your shoulders and through, feel broad through your chest. Then lift your leg and bend your knee. So we're going to do just an, like an L shape. So keep the right hip bone down and then work to lift the leg up. Yeah, good. See if you can get it out from your hip. Right. I have tight hip. hamstrings. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so go with what you can. You know, go as high as you're able to, but keep your abdominals engaged and keep the right hip bone down as much as possible. So it's kind of a uh, opposite energies. Bottom leg is slightly bent. Speak up. Okay, the bottom leg, can you come a little closer maybe perhaps too? The bottom leg is lightly bent so you're not locking. You never lock your knees. So from here, Tara's probably getting tired. But, so you're gonna lift your leg up. <laughs> keep going? Yeah, keep going. So we're gonna just lift up. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Can you hear me okay now? Is it better? Okay, I don't know. Okay, so we can lift and keep this hip bone down. Good, so that we're working through the hamstring and your your glutes here. Good, so that's an option, and you can do many different pulses, slower, faster. Another option, if that doesn't work for you, because this is actually a pretty challenging position to be in, is you can stand upright, so turn, turn the other direction to even yourself out, and you can hold on to a bar or a countertop and bend your knee. Pull belly up and in, can engage your glutes to slightly move the, the knee back. I like to think of it, your knee is just kind of scraping back. You contract through your glutes oh, yeah. and your hamstring. Good. Yeah, I feel it. So that's essentially it's the same exercise, just a different body position. Yeah. Another option is to come down on the mat and do, do this from quadruped. So stack your shoulders over your wrists and then lift your knee. And this is total like a Jane Fonda move. Woo -hoo! Sorry. <laughs> 
So now you can go straight up and then make sure you keep this hip bone down and then the same thing, engage the glutes, engage the glutes, engage the hamstrings. And you can do this, you can do little pulses, you can go all the way up and all the way down. Just make sure you keep your abdominals strong. And that's that. I love it. Yeah. So another really popular move is pretzel. Pretzel. And I'm also a yogi. I say pretzel is the chaturanga of, of bar because it's very easy to do incorrectly and then it can be painful. Yeah. And it can cause overuse injuries. So sit, um, sit on the mat facing that direction and have your uh, right leg in front, whichever leg you want to have in front. And especially if you're on a hard floor, make sure you're on a mat or a carpet. And we want to um, make sure that you pull this knee back here so it's in line with your hip bone or behind your hip bone, okay? And if it's your first time doing pretzel, I recommend hinging forward, shoulders back, lift up to the chest. So the chest is still lifted, knees back. Now think of your hip going down, yeah, and even practice that a few times. So pull it back and then rotate it down. Pull it back and rotate it down, good. Now rotate it down and hold right there. Keep shoulders back and down, good. Now lift this leg. That's the hard part. Yeah, that's the hard part. And maybe you don't lift today, that's okay, because it's a, a, you know an exercise, it's very challenging. Just engage your glutes. We're gonna get up here. Oh yeah. And into your, your glute max and your um, medius. So it's yeah. like buns of steel day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so again, you can do lifts, pulses, you can even wrap from there, lift and wrap back. The main thing is we don't want the knee to come forward of the hip bone because then you're going to start to get in your hip flexors. We don't want your hip flexors. No. You can also come more upright if you're feeling strong. And the more you come oh, upright, that's hard. the more you're going to work, <laughs> work through here, your muscle top area, which I hate that word, but you'll get more into here as well as the, the glutes. I don't even think I can lift my legs. Like yeah, that. I'm, that's why you would just stay hinged forward until you build that strength and yeah. then slowly start to test coming upright. And that's one of the amazing things about bar. I work out all the time, but even these simple moves are challenging for me and I'm a fit person because it's just different than what I normally do. Yeah. That's why I love bar. Yeah, it's, it's good. Well, it's good to just change things up as a fitness enthusiast. You just you know, keep cross training. It's good to have a goal and stick to a fitness routine, but it's good to cross train once in a while. Always. Yeah. So, um, how's everyone doing out there? Do we have, we have people on still? 10. 10 Woo! people. All Thanks right. for watching. Is everyone ready for an ab exercise? We love abs. Yeah. Always. So, um, this is a classic bar move as well. You can, um, and at Ballet Physique, we do two options. We do flat back, which is flat up against the ball. We do use the cushion oh, we here. Do. Okay. I feel like it's easy. Okay. So you go straight up the wall. And then you, you want your back flat against the wall. And then have the hands on the bar, palms facing in. So face, oh, oh yeah, like that. And then sit even closer, yeah. Booty all the way all back. All the way, booty all the way back. Bend your knees to start. And you can do this without even hardly moving. You just think of your abdominals. Think of scooping out the abs and then pushing your belly button back and drawing it in and pushing back and just contract. Hold on on the bar and as you hold on on the bar, keep hollowing out and contracting your abdominals and pushing the belly button back. Yeah. So you don't even have to move your leg. No, I can feel it. Yeah. The hollowing out, that's a good visual. Yeah. I can feel that. Yeah. So you're just, you're working right now. Mm -hmm. Now from here, you can start to um, slide the the heels in, use that contraction, contract to slide the heels in, so slide in, little out. Contract to slide in, keep pulling this in, keep hollowing out, yeah! So if you start to lose that, just go back to doing it without the legs. All right. And then you can move on to moving the legs and all that, but if you're newer to it, you don't even have to do that. Make sure you get the form first. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. All so, right, so those are our three moves. Yes, yes. Thanks for every everyone. Any questions or any moves that you would like to see us break down or... Um... Here, we could put it on selfie mode again. Yeah. Hi. Hey, we're back. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, Erin, hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, well, any questions? If not, 
Um, then that's a wrap. If you guys really liked what you saw, you can go to theballetphysique.com. Um, they have workout DVDs you yes. can do at home. And if you're local, check out their group fitness schedule because they've got classes in Littleton and in Lone Tree, and they're all amazing. Yeah. You'll get a great workout no matter so what. Good. It's locally owned. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and also, they do have on their YouTube channel actual, you know, more bar moves. Oh, awesome. That they, that they um, give you little mini workouts. So you can check that out as well. That's so yeah. perfect. Well, thank you. Thanks, I'm Tara everyone. from Treble in the Kitchen. Yes. I'm Trisha from FitLoveDenver.com, and I also am a teacher here at the Ballet Physique. So, so have a good Friday. See you later. Bye. Bye.